डाइऑक्साइड छोड़ो देर इज इन रेस्पिरेशन देर आर सर्टन एंजाइम्स दैट आर यूज दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड एट एवरी सेल यू नो एवरी सेल वी हैव ट्रिलियंस ऑफ सेल्स इन आर बॉडी सो एवरी सेल्स रिक्वायर they need to undergo respiration so they, there are enzymes which are needed for the respiration to happen okay so this is what we discussed and then then we came to two kinds of respiration this is aerobic respiration and anaerobic what is the meaning of aero aero means air that means oxygen so this kind of respiration happens in the presence of air and what is anaero anaero means it term uh, it doesn't yeah. happen in, in the presence yeah. of air is there's no air exactly absence of oxygen no air right now how does it happen when does it happen we will discuss about it so this is where you had left okay here thank you ma'am thank you ma'am yeah thanks arna welcome so here the oxygen that we inhaled yeah that oxygen is is used up here it acts on glucose the chemical formula again i'm writing for glucose this is its h12o6 and you know also six molecules of oxygen are required to make six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of h2o plus energy then 38 atp yeah we can also write atp right so this is basically the chemical formula for respiration this keeps on happening in our body this is a never ending process which keeps on happening in our body throughout from the time we have you know uh, taken birth till the time till the time we will be alive this respiration at every cellular level will keep on happening okay breathing and respiration the pumping of heart you know these are certain things which will keep on happening in our body right whereas this is so we had oxygen here now aerobic respiration okay arna can you give me an example of aerobic respiration arna can you give me an example of uh, aerobic respiration breathing no we just now discussed breathing is different respiration is different okay ma'am sorry um mama so actually I, don't know okay all right not a problem karthik did you log in through two devices okay that's the reason why you got your audio okay sayed nasruddin can you please give me an example of aerobic respiration sayed nasruddin yes human beings animals birds mostly all of them especially the you know the multicellular organisms as in multicellular organisms as in under the animal kingdom all of them have aerobic respiration as in all of the all of us undergo aerobic respiration got it or not breathing is very much different from aerobic respiration breathing is just a physical process we are taking in air from our nostrils and we are leaving out air also or carbon dioxide also from our nostrils or from our mouth that is just a simple breathing but respiration is a little more complex so we are studying respiration now okay yes priscilla you're right anaerobic respiration is correct now um bhavya bhavya are you there bhavya can you explain what is an aerobic respiration so if you see anaerobic uh, you know anaerobic respiration and just give you a classic example what happens is that most of most of you at home you must have seen your mother uh, you know when she makes idli or made dosa what she does is that you know she, she makes the batter in the morning and she keeps it at night overnight for fermentation right so what happens basically during fermentation can any of you tell me what is the process that happens here mom the bacteria uh, like reproduces come very fast that is one thing that is one thing but how is this how is this fermentation process happening of course bacteria reproduces produces very fast but 
what's happening what is the chemical change happening i don't know chemical but i know physical yeah so physically obviously chemical changes are changes which are invisible so we cannot see it right we only see the end result so what is happening is basically this this is what is happening inside this change is happening inside so this rice okay the rice that your mother uses for making idli dosa you know whatever what is rice rice is basically starch, starch. no starch yes what is starch it can be simplified into like a line of glucose molecule very good it is basically a line of glucose so here you get the glucose right and you must have seen when your mother takes the vessel the battery is put she covers it with a lid why she will stop the contact of air she will not allow oxygen to come in so she has stopped the contact of air by keep putting a lid on the vessel so absence of oxygen oxygen is not there anaerobic oxidation anaerobic respiration is happening so then what happens you have to give it some time as we discussed anaerobic respiration takes a long time 8 hours 10 hours so morning when you open the lid what happens you will find a little bit of you of course you will find fermentation which is actually you know which is actually a kind of uh, you know, basic alcohol? Alcohol. yes it is basically a kind of alcohol right how oh, is something alcohol it is a see rice has alcohol if you keep rice overnight there is a certain amount of alcohol in it of course there's a certain amount of alcohol but the percentage of alcohol is like Huh? 0.001% or something like that. Huh? It's if, humans, uh, if humans carry out anaerobic respiration, then how do people die with short of breath See, or that oxygen? Is, that, is, that is a physical process that happens. When there is short, shortage of oxygen, when you're not breathing properly, then... That's what mom would... Like for 15-20 minutes, if some person is uh, not serious, but... Uh, has a bad condition and needs oxygen, but but he doesn't get it for at least five ten minutes. Why does the person sit? Five ten minutes. Six, minutes ten will not be a minutes, problem. I mean. Five ten minutes will not be that much of a problem. But you know what happens is that the oxygen is, I mean, is not reaching the lungs. You know, through the trachea, the oxygen is not reaching the lungs. And once the oxygen is not reaching the lungs, it is unable to provide oxygen to the heart and to the other body and especially to the brain so slowly slowly what happens all the organs are getting affected because they are deficient in oxygen so slowly slowly all the organs will give up all the organs will give up and especially if the heart okay. and the brain gives up then what will happen um, the person will die ah. and but can then... you imagine not giving oxygen to the heart for five minutes it's quite a thing huh we don't have oxygen, that much oxygen reserved in our body. Ma'am, actually the last mm -hmm. amount of a uh, uh, person can live without oxygen is 8 minutes. But by the time 8 minutes, uh, all your organs will start failing. Yeah, that is the reason. Because especially our heart and brain needs a lot of oxygen. Just imagine our heart is pumping every second. What? How, how will it function without oxygen? Ma'am, I know that but like... Uh... You said that it produce, uh, like it carries out energy. Hmm? The end results of uh, anaerobic respiration is also energy. Yes. So it can make the person last for like, like a person can live without breath for five six minutes. So this kind of energy will not be. We need oxygen. We don't need energy then. Our body requires okay, oxygen, right? So energy will not help us. Energy will only help us to do work, but we don't need to do any work. We need the oxygen then. All right. Okay. Ma so yeah. Who's this? Ma yeah. Tell Ma me. Heart pump uh, pump seventy two times a minute. Yes, that's a pulse rate. Correct. Yes. You're right. Okay. So now going back to anaerobic respiration, you know. One very classic example that I can give is uh, 
many of you must have heard no we get wine from grapes right wine is an yes, alcoholic wine is a alcoholic beverage right wine is an alcoholic beverage how do such sweet grapes convert into ma'am they get fermented no ma'am exactly they get fermented so what is this entire chemical process of fermentation this is the process this is the process of fermentation where glucose what do they do they take the juice of glucose you know first of all the grapes are crushed they are stomped you know through feet and through machine they are stomped properly after the stomping process is done then they take the juice so what is juice juice is basically glucose or maybe fructose simple glucose simple sugars then they will keep a tight they will uh, you know they will cover the lid with a uh, vessel container this is a huge huge things you know happening in factories so they have huge machineries whereby they will cover the container with tight lids and they will not allow oxygen to enter at all so if oxygen does not happen what will happen certain small small microbial you know uh, bacterial or micro microbial action will start happening that is fermentation and after a few months not even days not even weeks maybe after you know 5 to 6 weeks or maybe after a month too then you will get a beautiful purple color beverage which is actually wine this takes time to happen right plus it will also emit little bit of carbon dioxide gas which you know they uh, they have a certain setup through which they would keep this gas aside and just take out the pure wine from there so this is also basically a process whereby anaerobic <coughs> respiration happens right similarly yeast yeast is a bacteria how many of you have seen uh, the manufacturing of bread i don't know ma'am i just know that they make the dough and they bake it that's it okay so basically to make the dough they need yeast what is yeast what is yeast a powder it is powder of course we get it in the form of a powder but yeast is actually a the bacteria yeah it is a unicellular organism it is a unicellular organism which is very useful to us and you know it reproduces at a at lightning speed it reproduces so fast it reproduces through a process called budding we had studied about budding no in a few classes so what happens okay, is that so. okay what happens is that uh, you know for example you take some yeast powder i'll tell you how this happens you take some yeast powder you know add it to a little bowl of lukewarm water what you will add lukewarm water and add a little bit of sugar very little sugar why sugar i'm glucose very good because sugar is glucose the yeast has to thrive on something so you take water yeast and sugar and then keep it covered for maybe 5 minutes so no supply of oxygen you have cut the contact with oxygen you would see in 5 minutes the entire glass is filled up in fact it has froth and at times it also falls down the yeast has grown at a magnificent pace at a magnificent pace it grows it through budding it swells up then what they do is that they to uh, you know they add uh, wheat as in flour they add flour water and then they add this yeast solution to this and then they add you know they uh, mix all of them together to form a dough so what is this dough this dough is rich in yeast and you know they will keep this dough like a ball they will make a round ball of this dough and they'll keep it for 20 minutes again covered with a box or covered with a lid ma'am all right so what happens is that after 20 minutes the dough will increase in size how again you know the yeast multiplies here into several uh, you know times x times so that is how you know through anaerobic respiration 
that is in the absence of oxygen here the entire process of fermentation takes place this is the entire process okay so this is anaerobic respiration you I have given you three sets of examples I have given you the example of wine the example of yeast and the example of uh, idli dosa batter is it clear I'm sure it should be clear to all of you